Welcome everybody to this historic series of announcements that could change the landscape of professional wrestling. I am lead backstage correspondent of Metal Wrestling, Joey Styles, and in this video, I am going to reveal to you everything you need to know ahead of Metal Wrestling. You'll find out the date, you'll find out the matches, and you'll find out some exclusive new signings that Metal President Stone Cold Steve Austin has made. But before we get into all of that, let us remind you that Metal Wrestling has a special pay-per-view coming up named Revival, and we have already several big matches set for this show. In a lethal lockdown match, Stone Cold Steve Austin teams with John Cena, CM Punk and more to be announced to take on NLW's Undisputed Era. And rumor has it that Finn Balor may join the Undisputed Era's team to make this a 5v5, but we will have to wait until NLW on Saturday to find out if that is the case. For the middleweight championship, Samoa Joe defends against Drew McIntyre. Ever since the Elimination Chamber last May, McIntyre has been demanding another shot. One that was denied on NLW 100, but the match will go down at Revival. In a first time ever, exploding barbed wire deathmatch, Edge battles John Moxley in a rematch from the first dance back in January, where Edge took Mox out of action, punishing him with barbed wire. Can Marks get medically cleared in time for revival? We will have to wait and see. Plus, Darby Allen will challenge Sammy Callahan for the Hardcore Championship. There are no rules and falls count anywhere. Who will walk out as the champion? We also understand that we will be crowning new tag team and women's champions at revival, so stay tuned to find out who will compete for the gold. And in just a moment, we will reveal the date and match card for Metal Wrestling's first episode. But first, let us reveal the official roster for Metal Wrestling. First of all, we have the champions. Metalweight champion, Samoa Joe. Intercontinental champion, Seth Rollins. Managed by Jake the Snake Roberts. And hardcore champion, Sammy Callahan. Of course, we also have trainers signed, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Rhino. Also on the men's roster, we have CM Punk, John Cena, Drew McIntyre, John Moxley, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, Sami Zayn, Hangman Adam Page, Cody and Dustin Rhodes, John Morrison, Shinsuke Nakamura, Jonah, Darby Allen, Pete Dunn, EC3 with Drake Maverick. We've also got Hanson and Rowe of War Machine and Tamatonga and Tangaloa of the Gorillas of Destiny. But we've also got some brand new signings to announce to you right now. First of all, two men who have left No Limits Wrestling and are coming to Metal. Former NLW Tag Team Champion Kofi Kingston is making the jump to Metal. Plus, we thought he was set to retire, but he's back. It's the legendary Jushin Thunder Liger, who will make his Metal debut on the first episode. Stay tuned to find out his opponent. We've also signed two of the top tag teams in the world. Firstly, Santana and Ortiz, collectively known as Proud and Powerful. And Claudio Castanoli, formerly known as Cesaro, and his partner, Chris Hero, the Kings of Wrestling, are on their way to Metal Wrestling. On the women's roster, we've got Ember Moon, new signing Gail Kim, Sasha Banks, Riho, former champion Trish Stratus, plus two new signings to the division. First of all, a woman who has competed on the metal brand before, the Aussie, Tennille Dashwood. And a wrestler notorious for her bloody battles on the independent circuit, Candice LeRae. More roster members will be coming to metal wrestling over the next few weeks, so keep your ears open for updates. Now, let's get on to what you have been waiting for, the match card for Metal's first episode. In a match leaked by NLW's EVP, Triple H, it will be the main event of Metal Wrestling's first episode. John Cena will go one-on-one -on -one with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Both men are looking for a win to boost them up the ranks on Metal. Plus, Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins makes an open challenge for the Revival pay-per-view. Who will step up to the plate? Bray Wyatt returns for the first time since the Royal Rumble with a special edition of the Firefly Funhouse. In a match to the side, who will advance to a women's knockouts title match at Revival, Candice LeRae goes one-on-one -on -one with Riho. To decide who will go on to compete in a match for the heavy metal tag team titles at Revival, War Machine, Battle Santana, and Ortiz of Proud and Powerful. 
we also have an exclusive sit-down interview with Samoa Joe and Drew McIntyre ahead of the two men competing at Revival for the metalweight title. And in a dream match for the ages, Jushin Thunder Liger goes one-on-one -on -one with the best in the world, CM Punk. It is a night you do not want to miss in the combat zone. But that's not all. We will also have a sister show filmed at an undisclosed location in Southern California. It's called Metal at the Warehouse. This will feature bonus matches featuring up-and-coming stars as well as mainstays of the metal brand. In the first episode, Jonah will be in action and we will also see the Kings of Wrestling make their debut. The logo, the ring, everything about this show will to be revealed in the coming weeks. Now that's out of the way, folks, I'd like to throw it down to Metal Wrestling's president, Stone Cold Steve Austin, who's got a lot of things to get off his chest. You know what? Old Stone Cold has had a lot on his plate. What with Metal's first episode coming up, all these new sign-ins I gotta make, but I can't help but keep thinking about the lethal lockdown match at Revival. Now, I fought the Undisputed Era before, hell. We'll probably be fighting until the end of time, but damn it, it's different now. Adam Cole, I'll admit before you had my number, I respected you for that, but what you're doing now, what are you? You're just puppets for that big nosed bastard, your little EVP of NLW, Triple H. He's using you guys to get to me to try and stop metal wrestling, but here's the thing, boys you can't stop metal wrestling. Myself, John Cena, CM Punk, we're coming to kick all your asses. And you know what? If Finn Balor, the Prince, decides to sign with NLW over me, join the Undisputed Era, make it a 5v5 hell. I got no problem beating all of you from one side of that cage to the other. But I guess we'll find out on Saturday who Finn Balor has decided to sign with, won't we? As for you, Triple H, I understand that you didn't appreciate a bunch of my guys showing up at your little live event in Portland the other week. I think you said something along the lines of not wanting to show the footage. Well, I've pulled a few strings, got in contact with a photographer at ringside, and they've given me some of those photos, and here they are. Tell me what you see, Hunter, because what I see is your guys getting their asses handed to them by my guys. We came to your turf and put you in your place, and I know it just eats you up inside, doesn't it? Well, the pain and punishment for you will continue at Revival when I beat your boys the Undisputed Era, and <laughs> as for Kevin Owens, I heard what you said on Saturday, son. You said you want to fight, but you didn't want to do it in Texas. Sounds to me like you don't want to fight at all. Hell, Stone Cold never backs down from a challenge. Any place, any time you want, I'll be there. Hell, I'm not doing anything at the weekend. I might just be in Houston at NLW, ready to stomp a mud hole in you and walk it dry. But as for metal wrestling, we will see you Saturday, April 2nd, when the whole world will see exactly what metal wrestling is made of. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so.